In this session, let's learn about backup. What is a backup? Backup is nothing but copying the physical data files from your database to a secondary location so that we can recover in case of a failure. This is an important role of a DBA. Okay, He needs to take a regular backup of all the database files so that he can use that backup copies in case we have to recover from a failure. Okay, So what kind of a failures can happen? The failure can be a user process failure, it can be a network failure, it can be a user error or it can be an instance failure or a media failure. Right? The user process failure Sometimes the user may disconnect his session unknowingly or the user sessions get terminated maybe because his system got shut down or maybe the program which the user was running got an error and the session got terminated. Right? All these problems can happen. Whenever these problems happen and the user process is disconnected from the instance the Oracle database has to roll back all the uncommitted work. Yes, for this we have a background process called process monitor. The process monitor periodically checks to see if a particular session is active or inactive. If it is inactive and if that session has any uncommitted data then it roll back that uncommitted data. Okay? Normally, a DBA intervention wouldn't be needed in case of a user process failure. The process monitor will take care for you. Next one, network failure. The network failure can happen because of maybe the listener failed for some reason or your network card in the Oracle server failed or maybe the network connection got dropped and your session is disconnected. This may be the several problems related to network failure. So what's the solution? The best solution is configure multiple listeners, configure multiple network connections and configure multiple network cards on your database server. That's easy, right? Yes, a DBA is not necessary if you configure multiple listeners, multiple network cards and multiple network connections that should be good enough. Okay, the next one, user error. The user can delete the data by mistake or maybe he dropped the table by mistake or he logged into the database server and deleted the important data files, right? All these human errors could cause a damage to the database, right? So, what's the solution? So, definitely if the user deletes the data by mistake or drops the table by mistake, the DBA has to step in and recover the data. So, in order to avoid such situations, the DBA needs to give access only to the required objects and also needs to give only the privileges the user is required. Don't unnecessarily give him delete, update and drop if he doesn't require. Give him only if required. Even after that the user makes the mistake then as a DBA you need to recover the data. Okay. Next instance failure. The instance failure can happen due to a power outage or due to a hardware failure or a failure of a critical background process or the DBA might have initiated shutdown database. Yes, these are the several causes for an instance failure. Okay, so what will you do when an instance fails? Normally, if the Oracle restart feature is enabled, the Oracle restart will automatically take care for you. That means as soon as the instance fails, the Oracle restart will attempt to restart your database instance and recover the database. If for any reason the database cannot start, then the DBA needs to check it 
and resolve the problem. Okay. Next one, media failure. We know this can happen due to the failure of a disk drive or failure of a disk controller or the data files or some other important database files might be corrupted. Okay. In this case, we have to restore the files from the backup. Yes, we need to go to the backup location, restore the files from the backup to the database server and then recover the database. Okay. Like this, different kind of failures can happen on a database and depending upon the failure, a DBA intervention might be needed or not needed. Okay.